Hi guys, uh, Alex here. It's been a very long time since I've done a quick tutorial on Blender. In fact, it's been a long time since I've used Blender and we are now on version 2.8, which is very, very exciting stuff. So there's a hell of a lot of new features being added in. Uh, from my understanding, this is like a development process that's taken absolute years and they finally got there. So the one of the features that I really found interesting was the beveled shader feature, which is essentially adding a bevel to an object through the rendering process rather than on the actual model itself. So let me just give you an example here. I'm just going to use the default cube here, right? So the first thing we want to do is go into rendering. And uh, I want to stick this onto cycles because I believe this only happens through the cycle render, if I'm correct, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we then go to the shading tab. And um, we've got the object here and we've got our materials list at the bottom here. So this shows up by default. To get the render to render in real time, you wanna click this icon here, the viewport shading icon, if you can see my mouse moving up and down. So now it's actually rendering in real time, which takes up a lot of processing power, but nevertheless, it's really cool. So to add the blender, sorry, the bevel shader, you go to add, input, bevel, now, at first, nothing seems to happen, but if you move your mouse down, there it is. Set it in place. And what we want to do is connect normal to normal. And you can see that there is a bevel added there, right? So you can actually play around with the size of the bevel. You can actually open up the samples and make them higher so it's a, a nicer render, more smoother and so forth. But you can also mess around with these cycles here and so you can see the bevel is like even smaller now because I put it to 0 0.01 so let's put it to 0 0.03 oops I've made it 3 there <laughs> 0 0.03 and you can see there is a bevel I mean if we even go to rendering it very quickly you can see it's there Right, so I'm just going to quickly stop the, the render because it's taking up a bit of processing power and slowing down the video. But the beauty of it here is if you go into the model or the layout, you can see that it's not actually applied on the model. So it's just through the rendering phase of things. And that's great because to, to apply it on the model there, you probably have to add subsurface, subsurface divide that adds more nodes and uh, a lot more detail onto your model. And it actually makes it a lot complicated to to model it will slow things down basically so can you imagine you're spending a lot of time creating a very complex model such as a robot that has sharp ish edges and different angles and so forth you can't really go uh, you can imagine there's going to be a lot of corners like hundreds of them you can't really go to every single one of them and apply that especially when you spend all your time creating the model and it's done you can then just go to the shading tab here and add the bevel um, shader and it will automatically add some um, bevels to anything that has sharp corners and this is going to make your render look a lot more realistic because very rarely will you get 90 degree sharp corners when you when you come to like say a robot or any model that's created a metallic um, a creation basically so it's going to make your render look a lot nicer and a lot more realistic and the way the light will bounce off it as well so that's basically the very quick video on the blender shader that I've discovered that I really, really do like. And I think it's a fantastic feature. So give it a go, guys. And if you've got any questions, leave comments below. And uh, yeah, just feel free to ask any questions and I'll see if I can help you guys out. So speak to you soon and take care.